in your presence. Every time we come together to worship, I pray that you would keep us modest and unassuring of what you're going to do. Because it's not our will that needs to be done. It's thy will that must be done. That means you always adopt the mentality that says, Lord, I want you to have your way. Help me say, Lord, have your way. Say it one more time, say, Lord, have your way. In the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, as I end this prayer, sometimes we get easily discouraged. When that happens, we need you to remind us what your word says. That we can cast all of our care upon you. For you care for us. It is in the name of Jesus. And I pray right now that you will preach this sermon. So I said, I don't want Hosea, Donnell Malone, to preach right now. I don't want Hosea or Donnell Malone to preach. But I want you, the Holy Ghost, to talk to your people. Use me, Lord, to your glory in your honor. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Send your neighbor say, I thank you. But a, a waiter, a waitress will wait on you. So we, as we learn how to wait on the Lord, it is important that we realize that we need to learn how to wait more than one way. We should not just sit around and say, oh, I'm just waiting on the Lord. I'm not doing anything. I'm not going to help cut the grass. Oh, no. I'm not going to pick up the paper. Help these ushers out. Hey, Amen. You can get them programs off your seat. Take it with you. You know when you took that can out of that wrapper, you weren't supposed to put it in the seat anyway. Try to stuff it between the, the cushion. Think they're not going to find it. Then put it in that little thing when you hold the Bible and the hymn of it. That's nasty. Put that paper in your purse or in your pocket and take it home. Now, I'm teaching good. The Bible says, teach me God's very home. Help me. Usher shouldn't have to go around and pick up all that stuff. That nasty gum, you know, put in that paper. And they're going to have nerve enough to stick it in between the seats. Now, that's just nasty. Amen. So, I'm talking to, I'm helping y'all out of this. Amen. If you work, amen. But I'm here to let you know that I found out that if you really want to receive something, from the Lord. Don't be on your knees praying and begging all the time. But I dare you, and don't have no pity party. They tell me that God don't go to pity parties. You may want him to come to your pity parties. God, I'm feeling sorry for myself. They lying on me, but just join the club. Anybody that ain't never been lying on ain't doing nothing. Oh, maybe I'm talking to the wrong set. If people ain't saying things about you, you ain't doing nothing. But when you're doing something, they're going to show. Tell them how. Say yes. But I found out that if you really want God to show up in your behalf, get up off of your knees, stop having your pity party, and find out what a praise party is. Tell God thank you in the midst of that diabetes. Tell him thank you in the midst of that foreclosure letter. Tell him thank you. Say yeah. Wow, yeah. Now the thing's going too fast. The thing's going too fast. Oh, Lordy, never ask the question, 
what the church can do for me, but rather ask what I can do for the church in our right ushers. So if you really want something or somebody to do for you, you do for them. You reap what you sow. Do unto others as you have them do unto you. If you really want God to move in your behalf, you need to learn how to wait on God. And when you wait on Him, wait on Him more than just sitting and looking. Wait on Him by being a servant. Wait on the Lord by singing in the choir. Wait on Him by being an usher. Wait on Him by being on the pastor's aid committee. Wait on Him by cleaning up the church. Not even on the janitorial staff. Wait on Him by help cutting the grass and you're not getting paid. Don't expect to get paid for everything you do in the church. Can I hear you say yes? I play the organ when I'm not getting money. Say yes. And when you do, God's going to take you to a level that you've never been before. Say yes. I found out that it's hard for the Lord to bless you if you're lazy. God can't bless lazy folks. Well, blessed are they that are found doing when the Lord come. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Ah. 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 And let me close with this here. Talking about that eagle. I believe it says mount up with what? Wings. It didn't say the feet of eagles. It didn't say the feet of eagles. But it said the wings. The wings of eagles. Oh, I, I, I want to talk about that real quick here. Uh, I, I, I'm going to tell you like my former pastor, Bishop Lindsay, used to say. said, I, I can't give you the secret to success. I can give you the secret to failure. And the secret to failure is to try to please everybody. Woo. When you try to please everybody, you're going to show fail. I said to all the ushers, you're not going to please everybody that you the door. You can try to. But if you please the Lord, you're going to please those that God meant to be pleased. Let me talk about that eagle. And I got to sit down. An eagle is the largest and most powerful bird of prey in the whole wide world. And if you notice, I said birds of prey. And they're very seldom, if all, preyed upon. Sometimes known as apex and alpha predators, meaning that they don't have any fury of any of all okay. pre uh, uh, predators that prey upon them. And an eagle is a bird with fierce, has a fierce and a proud and a bold look. Yes, an eagle looking pretty and have a mean talk. Hallelujah. You know, and, and so we that's why we are. We are a style as eagles. Eagles are symbols of freedom and symbols of power. And now God styled his saints as eagles. But we are powerful individuals. We are fierce individuals with the power of the Holy Ghost and the Holy Boldness. And we are courageous hunters like that eagle. And we are hunters of the souls of men and women. Hallelujah. And we're symbols of freedom because we have been made free through the knowledge of the word and the blood of Jesus. And we have where the spirit of the Lord is. And so there is liberty. There is liberty. And we are not fearful. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power of that eagle, the eagle is known to be careful to avoid all forms of evil. They are always on the alert of every kind of a cat. We got to watch and pray. And here again is another way saints, while we're styled as an eagle, God said to be careful for nothing but through prayer and supplication. Let your request be command the word. Be made known unto God. Let me talk about the wings of an eagle. Some wings of an eagle are 10 feet long. 10 feet long. That's very wide. 
Thank you, Jesus. He could have talked about the feet, but the feet don't serve the greatest purpose. He could have talked about the beak, but the beak doesn't serve the greatest purpose. But the wings of an eagle are very powerful. They're ten feet wide. Because of this, an eagle can fly higher than the tallest mountain. And when it gets to the top of the mountain, you may he don't have to wonder how you're gonna get down. Can I hear you say yes? He just wait for the high winds to come. And when the high winds come, then he will stand there with a bold look and let the wind blow upon him. And the wind is blowing upon the eagle's chest. When God takes you high in the church, folk going to come against you. High winds going to come against you. But you got to be strong like that eagle. The devil will come against you with diseases. The devil will come against you with foreclosures. All kind of stuff they do. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You ain't got time for no pay mates when you're really going through. But oh, after a while, when the eagle can't take it no more, and the wind is too tough, all he have to do is just spread his wings. And that same wind get up out of the wings of that eagle. And then bring that eagle up above the high wind.
I didn't have to stop dancing. I just changed partners. And you know what now? When I go home, I don't have no hangover. Huh? When I go home now, I can rest at night. I don't worry about if somebody's going to break in on me now. I'm free. Tell somebody, I thank God I'm free today. I thank God I'm free because God is in control, a church where God is really real. Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. Sunday evening Pentecostal service, 7 p.m. Midweek service, Thursday,